Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video is going to be about why I started YouTube. Um, and you know, if somebody's looking to start up a channel, it might help them. You never know. Because there's lots of stuff on there which is just all gobbledygook about starting channels um, on YouTube. So yeah, so as they say, roll VT. Hey guys, so originally this channel started in 2014, um, but there's no content because I put it up. I just signed up for it, never done anything with it. Um, first idea was on holiday in Bulgaria in 2017. 2017. Um, you know, you'd read reports on TripAdvisor about the place, um, and there was a couple of videos on YouTube. Um, so I decided to take a GoPro with me and just do a little video of the resort, what was there. So if you're going to go, you go to YouTube, you can have a look what's there so you don't have to believe um, what TripAdvisor says. Because some of it's true, some of it's made up, or so they say. Um, and obviously we did the same following year, again in Bulgaria. Took the GoPro with us, just did a little review of the hotel, accommodation and food uh, just so people could know what it's like um, obviously following on from that we've come back <laughs> Patrick here and Martin is waving to me through the window and so is Chad um, so yes we're out of Martin again about my third home this um, great course by the way just say that when I come and play um, so yeah, so we just uh, followed on from the 2017 video in Bulgaria. I decided to um, start filming my trips to work on my bike. Put the GoPro on my wrist and you know just film different things. Something happened, people cut me up, etc. I put it there, put a little clip on YouTube or if it snowed, and so on. Um, Obviously, during the before that, my daughter was swimming, so not having time to do anything like like this. But obviously, since you give it up, or send me give it up, as she says, um, I've had a bit more time. A lot of people will say that a lot of channels like mine sprang up um, on the back of Liam Golf Hugs UK. Well, this channel didn't because it's been around since 2014. And I'll be honest, when I first watched Liam's content, I wasn't, well, I don't know, just didn't, didn't seem to appeal at the time. Um, you know, but I watched him again and I got into him. So yeah, so, you know, Liam, Liam is good there. So I haven't, you know, we didn't go on the back of Liam. Um, what gave me the idea to start vlogging was um, a lad, He's got a YouTube channel called Simon Wilson. Uh, I know some of you follow him, who aren't, who I know. Uh, but if you don't, I'll put a link to him below. Uh, this is a guy that sneaked into the McGregor fight. And he also managed to sneak into BBC Sports Personality of the Year. And he does do some good content. Some of it's not brilliant, some of it's a bit boring, a bit the same. Um, but he does do some good content um, and some good trips. He did uh, New York to LA with no money. Which was which was a good good couple of good series to watch. So that's what gave me the idea to uh, to buy a camera. Obviously, with buying the camera um, and having the nerve to speak to people or to my 66 subscribers that I have now, thank you very much. It was um, a bit nervy, you know. I'm not used to doing things like this. Um, so I'm just <laughs> looking at me nervy. Um, so yeah. So all I decided to do, I thought, right, why not? Um, get back into golf, which I've done. Um, obviously, Liam's channel. You've met a lot of people through Liam's channel. Um, who have become very good friends. Um, Lee at golf at uh, Golf Nuts. That's a good friend of ours now. Um, also, Anthony over at Anfield House over in Yorkshire. He's become a very good, good mate. 
Uh, there's a few others there. Guy, Guy Fawkes, I'm gonna, oh, is it Guy F Golf Fawkes? Guy Little Fawkes? Hey, also know he's a visible golfer. I do uh, speak to him now and again. Uh, not forget to see Ian, combat golfer. He met some really good people um, through golf. So the idea of doing the golf bit of the channel was um, just to go to different courses, um, see how you're treated, um, and see if you value for money. Um, if you can look back at a couple of the channels, um, videos I've done, obviously Wigan, uh, Cheadle. Some people like it, some people don't, but I think it just gives you an impression of what the course is, um, is it value for money, were you treated okay? which I've tried to do. Uh, it's given an honest opinion of the place. People might disagree with that, but that's your choice. Um, so that's what I've tried to do, go around the different clubs, which I'm going to continue in the new year. Um, now we've got a bit more time at weekends. We're going to go around a few more um, and obviously just see what they like. See what the value for money is, how they are to, to, to the general public. There's a lot of... Um, a lot of movement at the moment with golf clubs, how they're all changing to accommodate the normal golfer and the clothing attire as well. Um, I can't really think of anything else, really, when I started it. It's about it, really. Just a bit of fun, uh, learning, obviously, learning uh, the editing side of it. That's been a bit of fun as well. Um, just getting out, just getting the camera out and just filming things. I know people don't like the camera in your face, but you don't see CCTV, so why not? Um, obviously, YouTube, you can search round and you'll see why why to start a channel. And there's hundreds and hundreds of people saying oh, what you should do, what you should do this, do that, do that, do that. At the end of the day, do what you want. Um, if you're only going to have a small fan base to start off with, just plod along at normal. You don't have to go out and do six or seven videos a week. Don't need to do it. Plus, if you're working, you haven't got time. And on the, on the video side of it, to be honest, um, I didn't put really put anything out in July, August time, and my subscription went up. Um, I did did I did see um, an article that was on YouTube that said, um, "Give your videos time to breathe. You know, let them get out there. Uh, if you're lucky enough, somebody will find you." Um, other point which is sort of close to me at the moment is other bigger YouTube channels, you know, people calling for them to help. The smaller boys out, like me. Um, obviously, a lot won't do that because it's obviously it's their living um, and they need to make, make the money out of YouTube, which they do. Uh, I know Liam at Golf Vlogs will help you if you ask him to. Uh, there's also Big Oggy Golf uh, down in Cornwall, he'll help you as well, if you need anything he will give you a hand. Um, but a lot of the big, big, big boys, um, you hear different rumours that they won't bother. Um, and some of the content they're bringing out at the moment is copied a lot of what the uh, smaller channels are doing. So that tells you something. Um, I'll just give you an example. Um, I asked a YouTube channel, you know, if you know, they'd retweet my channel for me, just to get me out there, and she refused. And I thought, hang on a minute, I tweet your name out there to get you publicity, and you won't do anything for me. But you'd only do it if I was in partnership with you. So, it was a two-way street. If you help me, I'll help you. Um, and a lot of the smaller channels will help each other out, which is good. But I thought, you know, just because I don't, in partnership with you, you won't help me out, so why should I help you out? Why should I retweet you and get your name out there? A lot of people will do it, because, you know, they obviously, they'll do it for people, but, you know, you help me, I'll help you. If you refuse to help me, then sorry, but I'm not helping you anymore because you're obviously not interested in me giving you publicity so I won't give you any publicity now do I name the person? 
comment below if you want me to name the person and in the next video I will name that person who refused to help me because I think they or she as I'm going to go was out of order um, so yeah comment below what you think so if you are starting up with the channel or if you're looking to do something just do it just buy yourself a camera have a bit of fun with it and don't worry about it you know if you're not going to get 10 million subscribers straight away I've got 66 and I don't push it don't push it at all people like the content they like the content um, like I film flooding I go and film Sockport Town Centre I just film anything I feel like I'm filming uh, I filmed at United the other week you know um, and there's a few other things I want to go and do a few other football grounds which I'm going to go and have a bit of a play at so that's it guys, uh, that's probably why I started the channel um, and hopefully we'll just grow as you can see we've got our own hats now um, I can't think of anything else to say, lots of words so hope you enjoyed it, if not don't worry about it, I'm not, not going to lose any sleep over it um, I'll speak to you soon guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, the next video we should have, I think, is going to be a little three-hole challenge match with a young lad at my golf club called, um, oh, Hewan, that's his name, Hewan, and his dad, over there over Christmas, um, and his little bandit of a golfer he is, so um, we should have some fun with him, it should be a good three all round. Hopefully the weather will stay nice, uh, like it is today here at Martin, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers guys, take care. See you later.